Hi, my name is Elizabeth Belding. I'm a professor here in computer science at UCSB. I've been in wireless networking for the past 20 years. And right now, I use wireless networking and apply it towards bringing more people online um, around the world, and particularly in developing countries and rural contexts. One of the technologies we use is called white space networking, which is really at the forefront of wireless technology right now. And the, one of the reasons why it's so promising for bringing internet connectivity to people in really remote areas is that it operates in TV spectrum. I think one of the most important things we've found about internet traffic in these locations is what we call spatial locality. So people like to access content that is created by others who are physically close to them, or geographically close. So for instance, when we're working with um, the tribes, people are most likely to access Instagram content um, from other tribe members, so people who are members of their same tribe. They're next most likely to access Instagram content from members of other tribes, but in the same system of reservations in San Diego. And they're least likely to access content from people outside of the reservation system, though certainly they do access that content. And I mention Instagram because um, that's one of the most common applications we found um, in, in this community. So when you know that there's a preference for accessing information that's locally created, you can innovate around that and create a number of solutions that prioritize that type of, that type of traffic, that store that type of traffic locally in order to improve the internet experience, deliver the content more quickly, decrease congestion on the internet backhauling, and all around improve the internet experience for those people.